So this is some Coca-Cola Cherry Zero, uh, which we put into here, and I've already done some distillation on it, and the distillation resulted in a little bit of clear and colorless solution moving over to here that gives off the aroma of cherry. So I'm going to pour that into here. And then we're going to redo this experiment, but this time we're going to go ahead and replace the Coke Cherry Zero with actual cherry Coke and see if we get a stronger scent or more of that scent and look at kind of how the distillation looks like in action to kind of give some comparison to it. All right, so we're going to open up some fresh cherry Coke here. That's going to be a little bit of a problem because there's going to be so much CO2 dissolved in here that when we heat it, it's going to take some time to kind of get rid of that. But we will persevere nonetheless. So to set up the distillation apparatus, we have this thing right here, and all we're going to do is we're going to put this into our two containers here. We need to make sure that they can kind of hold this without too much stress. There we go. And then we're going to have these tubes come in through here. So this one on this side is going to hook up to the faucet, like this. And then I'm going to turn the water on, and you can see in here that as I do that, just nice and gently, a little too much. So turn it down a little bit. There we go. So what's happening now is water is coming through this tubing into here and then out through here. And then what's that, what that's going to happen is it's going to have cold water kind of continually flowing through here to kind of keep cooling down the um, stuff that we heat. Okay. And then basically to get the distillation to work, the only other step you need besides running water is some energy source. So we're going to go ahead and light this. Now we have to be careful with this one. We don't want to heat it too much too quickly because we're going to get a lot of CO2 coming out of here. And we don't want it to kind of flood up to the top. But what we are going to see, hopefully, is that we're hoping that we'll see some kind of clear and colorless mixture like we saw with the cherry in the original that comes and collects in here while the cola components otherwise stay in here. So we're hoping the sugar stays in here, um, the coloring, uh, maybe the phosphoric acid, and some of the water, but instead we see whatever ester or whatever compound is giving us that scent and smell and taste of cherry can come into the other component of this. So we're looking for that chemical to condense along this inner tube. And so I'm going to scoot this out of the side a little bit. And what happens is as this gets heated, we're producing different chemical vapors to come out into here. And then those cool down as they travel down this cold tube that's cooled by the water flowing through it. And there's a kind of a tube inside where it's connected to here. And then there's a tube kind of outside that the water runs alongside of this to keep this cold. And then we want to look for that condensation to form and eventually come down into here. So now we're starting to see drops come down periodically, and hopefully that's the cherry flavoring or whatever mixture of water and cherry flavoring that we're looking for. We'll let that run for a little longer and then we'll check it. So we're now at a point where we can go ahead and deconstruct this. I'm going to start by removing this here. At that point, now a lot more vapor is just going to come directly out of here. Uh, and so we can go ahead and shut down our distillation. We're going to turn off the water. And we're going to 
carefully with this out. And this side is much, much warmer than this side. Set that on the rubber tubing so that nothing bad happens. And now we can go ahead and take this, and this should be nice and cool. And we can check to see if it smells like cherry. Which it does. Um, it smells very similar to the one that's in the Coke Zero. Um, so I'll pour it into a beaker to kind of get a full comparison, but it looks like something similar to what we have in here. I would expect there to potentially be less of that in case this is something that packs some syrup with some calories, but otherwise it seems to appear to have the exact same scent. So, so here's our cherry Coke Zero, or our cherry Coke regular. I'm going to pour it into a beaker so I get a similar surface to kind of draw that scent from. I'm going to set this down on the globe so nothing bad happens. So. Very, very similar smell uh, comparing the two. So it would appear that the cherry Coke has the exact same cherry flavoring or whatever chemicals added to give it cherry flavoring, but the Coke Zero or Coke Cherry Zero had with it. Um, and I, I actually smell it more in this one. It's a slightly bigger surface to this, so. But this one's also a little warmer. Uh, but they smell very similar and similar in amount, not just what chemical but how much so potentially you would think that this would have a little bit less cherry syrup if they have to worry about calories being added to this um, but it doesn't appear that that's the case